Time now for News for Utah Sports with Dana Green. Some call him polarizing, some call him passionate, but Grayson Allen hasn't stopped smiling since the day he got drafted by the Utah Jazz. The Jazz introduced him to the media today. Allen's going to wear number 24, and he can't wait to get started. Grayson Allen knows that he may have rubbed people the wrong way at Duke, but he's really a good guy. I know I come from Duke, and I want to re continue to represent Duke in a good way. And now that I have Utah Jazz in my uniform, I want to represent the Jazz in the right way. Um, whether I'm polarizing, loved, hated, uh, I don't care. Yeah, Allen just wants to get started, and he will soon with Summer League action starting on Monday. I'm really excited to, to get in the system and get used to the system more because I think I can really do well in it. Um, they play basketball the right way, and... Uh, I can't say that enough. I said it right after I got drafted, but watching them play even more games, I see it more and more. And having played with nine first-round draft picks during his career at Duke, Allen knows how to showcase his talent around other talented guys. All four years at Duke, I've played with uh, a top three pick. Um, I'm used to playing with guys around me. Um, you got Jason Tate and Brandon Ingram, you know, all the guys last year. Um, so I know how to play with other talented guys. Speaking of talented guys, Allen can't wait to learn from Donovan Mitchell. He's a guy who had an incredible rookie year, and if I can just measure up against him each day in practice, go against him, I um, mean, that's, that's great for me. You know, someone who's a similar position, uh, a scorer, and a a similar type player. Growing up in Florida, Allen idolized Dwayne Wade, but he's really looking forward to playing for fellow Duke alum, Quinn Snyder. I'm happy I got the Duke connection there. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be some similar terminology and keywords um, that Coach K used at Duke, especially when it comes to the culture and uh, how the team is together. Another Duke guy, former Lone Peak High star Frank Jackson, told Allen what to expect living in Utah. Uh, yeah, he texted me after the uh, after I got drafted, and he said, "Congrats, you're going to the best state in the U.S." It's a very beautiful city. Um, you know, it's my type of city, um, so I feel like I'm going to really love living here. Uh, make sure you tune in to Real Sports Live this Sunday at 1045 for a one-on-one sit-down interview I got to do with Grayson Allen.